This is Project Cars 2. This is AMS 2. I'm Looney GT, and today we're doing something radical. Gamer Muscles recently, well not recently, he's always been on the mountain of, of the radical. I haven't spent much time driving the radical, so I thought I should hop in and uh, get a taste for myself. So let's get started. Right, we're starting off in pro the Radical and Project Cars 2. Go! We're going to do a six lap race at Brands Hatch. Just to kind of set a baseline and get a sense of how Project Cars 2 does the Radical. We'll jump into AMS 2 in the MCR, do a six lap race, and see how they compare. Whoa! Crazy AI behavior from Car the left. start. Oh man, I've done some practice in these cars and I hadn't had any problems, right. but that was a big one. Clear right. And I think my, the first thing I noticed in this car, in Project Cars 2, is that the on-center force feedback feel is pretty weak. Uh, I don't know if I can go into my settings menu and, and tune that out or stiffen that up a bit. It's possible. I haven't done that yet though. And I will say, it's just as a reminder that I like the force feedback in Project Cars 2 with the force feedback file that I've added in, swapped in. Uh, so I don't, I mean, I'm not always uh, against Project Cars 2 force feedback, but for this particular car, it feels kind of weak on center. So we'll have to see how AMS2 handles the MCR and see if it feels a little more dialed in. There are other cars in Project Cars 2 I've driven that felt better on center. But I, I found that these, the Radical really oh, likes to have some throttle applied through the corner for stability. And I'm running the default setup, so I haven't messed with anything. All I did was put race fuel in it. Oh, a big drift. <laughs> so that brings up Project Cars 2 physics. A lot of, lot of hate still out there about Project Cars 2 physics. I'm still getting messages about Project Cars 2 physics. Right side, and I've, clear right. I've been thinking about it some more. And I think... The gap to Hugh behind is now 1.2. I think what the deal is, the Project Cars 2 physics aren't bad. They're not awful. The cars do what I expect them to do in most situations. If I make a mistake, it slides in the way I think it would slide and reacts how I think it should react. I think the difference with Project Cars 2 perhaps is that the, it's a little more forgiving to get the car back in line when you make a mistake. It's not so brutal uh, when you make a mistake. And there's nothing wrong with that. It makes the sim more approachable. Um, this is going to be my go-to sim to let friends and family experience sim racing, especially in VR, because it runs really well and it drives well. Now, just because it's easier, perhaps, to catch cars, doesn't mean to me that the physics are bad, because I still use the exact same techniques and skills to try to catch cars in Project Cars 2 as I would in any other sim. The I mean, so that tells me that the, right the, the physics cold. aren't inherently bad. You know, this isn't arcade physics. This is simulation physics that and maybe it's easier to catch. I don't know. But I don't think it's a bad thing. It's, it's an enjoyable sim to drive. Well, we're halfway through the race. And I still haven't really come to grips with this car yet. It's, I, I'm surprised, having not spent much time in the Radical, I really expected it to be a little more planted. I thought it was going to have more of an aero feel to it than it does. It moves around quite a bit, it slips and slides, which is fun. It's just not what I expected from this car. I thought it was going to be a little more uh, glued to the road. But overall, my impressions of the Radical He's quicker than you and Project Cars 2 are pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to stand up at the altar of the Temple of the Radical that Gamer Muscle preaches at. But it's fun. I like it so far. It 
So a big slide there, but very catchable using, you know, proper techniques. Correct pause recover. Two to go. That lap time was 130.85. Who am I to say how accurate it is when driving a, a Radical? I've never driven a Radical around Brands Hatch, but boy, it's fun. I can, I can feel that the back end slides out so I can adjust my throttle and steering inputs to catch it. I, I guess I don't really understand why people bash these physics so much. They feel, they're fun, they're engaging. They certainly don't feel instantly wrong. They don't feel like an arcade, so. And hey, to each their own. No one has to like Project Cars too. that's fine. I just think that everyone needs to at least give it a shot. You know, Make up your own mind about it. Don't just let others tell you it's no good. That's what I did wrongly for years. I missed out on a lot of fun project cars too. We'll move on and start uh, taking a look at the, the MCR in AMS2. One more to go. All right, we're now in AMS2 in the MCR. It's the P4 class one is the most equivalent to the Radical SR3 we were driving at Project Cars 2. We are at Brands Hatch again for a six lap race and you can already tell the difference between Project Cars 2 and AMS2 is AI implementation. AMS2 still doesn't have that figured out especially in first lap stuff. It field is way more bunched up than it needs to be. We'll see how they behave during the race. I still think, in general, AMS2 AI doesn't have the awareness of me that other sims have. Um, ACC comes to mind. ACC is really good at uh, cars realizing that you're there and giving you room. Maybe to a fault, maybe ACC gives you too much room, but AMS2 doesn't have that quite figured out yet. But. Graphics-wise, these two seem pretty pretty similar. I did just drive Project Cars 2, and I thought maybe maybe things look brighter, like color palettes are a little bit lighter in this than Project Cars 2, but I'm not really sure. It could just be time of day differences. Oh, no, 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 no. But the other big thing that I picked up on right away in AMS2 is that the force feedback feels much better, mostly because I've got a lot more on center weight than I did in Project Cars 2. But Project Cars 2 felt too numb in the middle, which isn't isn't what I always find in Project Cars 2. I don't want people to think that I always feel that way because I think I've had lots of, not lots, I've driven several cars in Project Cars 2 that I thought the force feedback felt just fine to me, really it did. But in the Radical, it was too light on center. And the problem with that was is it made it hard to me, for me to precisely turn in, especially for some of these higher speed corners at Brands Hatch. So uh, AMS2 definitely has the force feedback dialed in for this car better than Project Cars 2 does for the Radical. Um, physics, on the physics side of things, or how the car handles and feels, these tires feel way grippier to me than uh, the ones in Project Cars 2, but they're also... They, I, I'm skipping across the pavement a lot, uh, and I think that's something I've noticed in other cars in AMS2. So I think that's some tire physics that they need to get sorted out that's not right. It's also may just be that the default setup for this car is, is just needs to be dialed in a bit better. I keep running wide there. The... Oh, okay. Uh, I think if you're skipping across the pavement like that, the damping, or the, I guess, is it the rebound maybe that needs to be softened? I'm not really sure. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me, but anyways, the, the tires feel like they are grippier to me uh, in this car than the Radical SR3s. The Radical seem to slide around a lot more than this car. I don't really want to go too wide through here. But... The physics in, in this, you know, I talked about in Project Cars 2 how I thought I could, it was easy to catch the car. This car doesn't feel bad in that respect. 
I have definitely had the back end slide around and I'm able to react. I can steer the car just there with throttle. I was getting understeer, so I let off the gas. I got weight transferred to the front. Nose tucked right back in like it's supposed to. But again, not really surprised that the physics are good in AMS2. We've seen that enough in the recent updates that that's all dialed in pretty well. I do think this is a more fun car to drive than the Radical and Project Cars to so The other big thing, the big difference I could tell, and that's, it's really more of a track complaint than a car or physics complaint, is the curbing in Project Cars 2. If I clipped the exit curbing with my tire, just kind of kissed it on exit, it really upset the car in a way that I don't think it should. I think it was more a, a problem, like I said, with maybe the mesh with the curbs or something, and the actual track design in Project Cars 2. Uh, but it, it really upset the car. But I, I definitely feel like the brake implementation in Project Cars 2 is, oh, is more natural feeling. I still struggle with brake application in general in AMS2, probably in every car I've driven. The, oh, that was my bad. The, uh, oh, no, 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 don't go around, oh! <laughs> well. All right. In AMS2, I don't remember doing that. The, it seems to be, oops. <laughs> and we're back where we started. The, uh, Cars stall out now. I don't remember them doing that. As I was saying, the brake application in uh, AMS2 is tricky to me, and maybe I need to work on the brake sensitivity settings in the menu, but I feel like the brakes tend to lock up really early on the pedal travel compared to every other sim. Um, I I can't think of another sim where I've even thought about the brakes and, and could I change them, could I make them feel better. This is the only one that I routinely struggle with the, the brake input. I don't know if that's something that they're going to keep working on or if this is it and I just got to figure out how to make it better. And if that's the case, that's fine, but we'll wait till version 1 before we take a deep dive into trying to set up brakes or anything else because they're just going to keep changing it. But yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Project Cars 2 Radical versus AMS 2 MCR. This is definitely the car I would rather drive. The, the Radical was fun. I liked that it slipped and slid around, but the unless I could dial the force feedback in Project Cars 2 in on that particular car a bit better, yeah, I'd much rather drive this. Which will come as a surprise to no one. Well, I'm going to finish this race out and enjoy driving a bit more in AMS too, but thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.